What's up guys? Welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Creeper Lord saying he wants us to get the Ligma Gold Viper on any map of our choice. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And by getting the Ligma Gold Viper, we're going to be able to get it Plague Diamond and finish off yet another class. And we're only going to have one class left after this. So if you want to leave any suggestions, the only class we have left is Tack Rifles. And we already have the M16. What's the other weapon we have done? Oh, the Type 63. So the only suggestions we're taking right now are the Carve, the Aug, and the DMR. And we can only do two of them so whatever weapon you guys pick try to keep in mind that one of them might be the last weapon we do to get dark aether and then after we finish off these tack rifles and we get dark aether we're gonna go through do all the dlc weapons and i think we might throw a few challenges in there with them but we don't have a whole lot of setup today really quick let me show you my class i got the sigma leveled up in multiplayer it was Honestly, I always forget how bad launchers are till I go to do them in multiplayer. But uh, really quick, here are my attachments. I have the cat piano charm. And then we have this rocket sticker. And then we always have to go with the little chicken. But for our camo progress, I have absolutely no progress with this thing. I leveled it up entirely in multiplayer. Uh, I still really hate flak jacket. And I hate that you can one hit melee with the whole launcher. But shooting a rocket at somebody at like, what, 100 something miles per hour? It just tickles them. Uh, but I'm not going to go into a flak jacket rant. <laughs> we don't need any of that uh, a year after Cold War's release. But that's basically what we're going with here. And then we have Tesla Storm as our field upgrade. And I think since he said I can pick any map that I want, I haven't played on Forsaken in a bit. Uh, we're already not going to be using a grind spot. So that's not going to be a problem here on this map. And this is the first map to have PhD as an actual perk stand there. Like it has its own machine. So let's hop in Forsaken and get this thing done. All right, here we are. Moving on into Forsaken. I think this has to be my favorite map in this game. If it had a better grind spot, it'd be far and away. Like, I wouldn't have to think about it. Like, if they never nerfed this truck. But since they did get rid of our, our little beauty Bessie over here, you know, I gotta I gotta be more critical of it. But uh, we have to get all the way to PhD to start knocking out some challenges. I mean, we don't need it. It'll just make it easier. But for some challenges, it makes it more difficult. Because with PhD, you have this false sense of security where uh, nothing's gonna hurt you. I mean, or at least your splash damage won't. And it won't. But like PhD and social distancing, where you would have taken damage from your own rocket, it counts that damage for a challenge. So you will not be getting Jackrabbit medals. So that's why I think it's probably good for us to try to get our Jackrabbits right away. And then by the time we grab PhD, we don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to try to rack up some cash here by training up all the zombies and then just trying to get as much for one rocket that I can. We have a stun. Okay, this is perfect. Honestly, it's always so tough at the start of the game with the launcher, but if you can get set up and try to avoid going down, it's honestly kind of worth it. But we have a huge group here. Let's go right here. Let's get some extra points by stunning them and then let's send a rocket right at them. That should be a jackrabbit medal for sure. And then we can get another one right here. Perfect. And we might as well just launch these rockets at these guys for a minute because we have a max ammo on the ground waiting for us not to worry about ammo all right let's go get it oh and a double points perfect honestly this might be like the best area or best map that i could have picked because this first room the rounds just keep going we're already on round six like I, I love that it's like endless in here but speaking of which uh recently insomnia virus uh, one, one of the boys one of the most insane zombies players i've ever seen in my life uh he just hit 935 here in this room he did a first room challenge going to round nine three five which is ridiculous so uh being inspired by him i might try to do something similar to that obviously not to round three five but uh while i was watching his stream someone told him to go for like 69 downs and i thought that'd be a good idea and a, a, a fun thing to try to do so we might do that sometime soon depending on if i if i i can get it to work because honestly i don't know how i'd be able to do that but i'm gonna get a few more kills here and then move on because oh shit hold on let me get through these guys because i just remembered we have to fight an abomination to get the phd and pack a punch and all that and the longer we wait here the harder it's going to be to take out that abomination let me just get a few more kills and then let's head on through okay we have 10k i might as well just grab jug since we're right here in the loose change for it that's been a minute since i played forsaken honestly people get mad about reused assets and things like this area is from part of a campaign map but i really don't care like i think this map is beautiful i think this is probably the best map in this game and honestly if they can make maps faster by reusing assets that they've already made that you've seen one time in a mission and campaign 
I'm completely fine with it. The, the thing I only have a little bit of scrutiny for is reusing multiplayer maps for it. But at the same time, I still don't even care that much. Like that, I mean, you see multiplayer maps more, so it's a little more irritating to hop into a zombies game and be like, oh yeah, I've seen this map like a bunch of times. But for someone like me who has not played the campaign of this game, and you know, maybe I will soon, it's like, I, I do not care that they use that the assets for another zombies map. Let's grab all the loose change from in here somehow get around these guys okay there's a part in here i forget about the parts it has been a long time since i played this actually i think it's been like a month or two we got all those parts i have one rocket so let's try to get these zombies all grouped up we'll get one kill here and then i'll buy some extra ammo where can i even buy ammo here inside the arcade or something oh yeah i see it okay a lot of zombies here let's try to get up here launch a rocket down Ooh, nice lots of kills there all right we'll grab some ammo and eh, let's go for another one Oh, there's a threshold camo. We already got two or what is it? I don't know. I can't read fast enough, but that was for jackrabbits. I'm pretty sure. And that means we're one camo away from getting our jackrabbits done. So I might as well just work on it right here since they're already grouped up for me. There's a corrosion camo, vanish camo, level 85. All right, let's head into the movie theater here. Sir, where's your flashlight? Oh, it's under the counter on display. Nasty. Then we got to go to the TV repair shop. Where is the busted ass TV? There it is. And then we need to go to Burger Town. Pop this open and we'll grab the fryer cage. A little loose change from Elemental as well. Why isn't there a Sigma wall by? We should have that. Let's go ahead and repair this. Crack the knuckles. Get out of here. And I think we probably... Oh, wait. Hold on. Before I finish that thought, these boys need some love. Okay, there we go. But I think we picked the best time to come here to fight the Forsaken because we only have our Forsaken. Jeez, I can't stop calling this thing the Forsaken. The Abomination. We only have one zombie left. Once we spawn this guy and we kill the zombie, it's just going to be a 1v1. So bring it out, Abomination. Come on out. Let's give him a kiss and take out the zombie. Hopefully that doesn't end the round. There we go. Oh, he's pissed. How much does one rocket do to him? Basically nothing. What about while he's critting? Still nothing. Okay, cool. So I can do nothing to this guy. Can I stun him? Does this do anything to him? It does. All right, I guess I'll just try to knife him. <laughs> okay, this is not the way I thought I was going to be taking him out, but the Sigma does nothing to him, which is going to suck in la rounds coming later. Well, I guess we'll have pack a punch and everything by then, but this guy seems to be tanking shots now. I can't imagine how many he's going to tank later when he has more health. Oh yeah, go ahead and shoot. Watch this. Get jump shotted. Idiot. Got him. Now I'm out of ammo. Buy some right here. What's up, pal? What's up, danger? Stop shooting at me, dickhead. Can I buy armor? I can. Let's do that. Probably should have upgraded our weapon first, huh? Especially since it's doing nothing to this guy. And I don't have another Tesla Storm to just run up and knife him. Do I have to buy a weapon off the wall to kill this guy? I might have to. Either that or I'm going to drain all my funds buying ammo. I'm going to get myself soft locked in this round, idiot. Hold on, I got three more rockets for you. Go ahead, try to shoot me. Hold on, I got one more rocket for you before I have to buy it again. Idiot. Okay, there's ammo. Almost got him. We're getting there. Yep, keep screaming. Ooh, that was good. I blew up one of his heads. Perfect. Yep, try to hide in your cloud of cum. Come on. He's one shot weak weak on me. Maybe two shot, maybe three shot. Go on. Okay, now he's actually one shot. Watch the 360. Sleep. Give me that max ammo. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I forget about this room. This is so nice. All right, hit on power or lift lockdown, whatever the fuck. Let's grab our loose change. We do not have enough to pack a punch yet. Uh, getting an ammo mod, probably not the best right now either. We should probably just save. Let's just go back home. We'll train up here, get some kills until we have enough to get pack a punch. We'll grab pack a punch and then come back out so we can start getting those camos. Oh, great. There's already tormentors. What are these things called? They are tormentors, right? Yeah, okay. I got that right. Just the worst part about using a launcher is all the training you have to do. With every other weapon, you can kind of just settle down in a spot. With the launchers... It's, it's way more efficient to get them into just a huge group. Okay, let's loop them over here. I think we have a nice big group. Let's kind of, let's climb up right here. Take our shot. Get the Tormentor out of here. Okay, we'll, they'll do it on its own. Please reload a little faster. They're coming. Oh no, we're not doing enough damage. There we go. That was enough. Gunrunner camo. Yeah, this thing needs pack a punch like now. I shouldn't have to double rocket a zombie. It's like they have flak jacket now. 
Let's get these double points to help with that. There we go. We leveled up. We have enough to get pack punch though. We need that now. Not only do I need the extra ammo, but that damage is desperately needed. All right, let's go ahead and snag it. This is what the Sigma looks like with a pack punch one camo here on Forsaken. Don't know if this has been seen a lot. I doubt a lot of people are trying to use a Sigma on the newest map, but here you go. It honestly looks really good. It has so much camo coverage on it. Like the gun is huge. And we have another 2000. So let's go ahead and put Shatter Blast on it while we're at it. There we go. All right. Back to the same old, same old. Actually, how much scrap do I have? Let's upgrade this to green. All right, this seems like a big enough group. Sleep. Oh, and a max ammo immediately. We just got ammo from pack a punching. I guess I'll go crazy with my shots. And we actually get three bullets in the mag. The same amount that you would get with a marshal, which is really stupid. I'm still mad about that. Pack a punching the marshals and only getting one extra bullet. The Sigma gets two extra bullets and it's a launcher. We gotta be getting close on these jackrabbits though. I'm pretty sure we hit the threshold camo not that long ago. And is that our jackrabbits? Oh, I should have went over the challenges again. I kind of just skimmed through them to show you that I didn't have anything done. I'm pretty sure for the launchers, I just need kills. I need multiple kills with one rocket or some something similar to that uh i need pack a bunch kills i need jack rabbits and i think that's it hopefully hopefully we don't sit here till like round 30 and then figure out that we're missing something oh forest camo or forecast let's go we do need 1500 kills though which shouldn't be too bad we're still getting camos we're working with it we're doing it entropathy and that's the round ahem all right these zombies need to start spawning in we got an insta kill running you're running the meter let's just start shooting it into spawns why haven't i been doing that from the start <laughs> there we go. They got these guys. They got these guys. And we'll wait for the rest to come in and train them up. There we go. That should be a camo. Show me. Get away from me. No climbing. Yep. Cartographer. And that's the round. Degeneration camo. Oh, get kills with a single shot six times. So we got to be pretty co- we gotta be i am stuttering so bad we gotta be pretty close jeez and we still even went and grabbed phd i'm just trying to make sure that i'm uh being aware of my jackrabbits oh wait we did get our banished camo already didn't we that's after uh threshold am i stupid there's glacier camo we just need like a thousand more kills let's just start grabbing perks huh there's another jackrabbit metal just in case. I really wish there was a way to check camos here because now I'm confused. There really needs to be a way to check camos in, in game for multiplayer and zombies. I need to know where I'm at. A PhD is right there. Do we really need it? Not right now. We do not need it right now. So let's go back. We're going to get speed cola so we can reload faster. Mule kick so we can pick up some rockets. And then maybe stamina up to make training easier. Okay, first of all, we got to survive this room. Oh, there's not that many zombies here. I'll just throw on a decoy. You guys can enjoy yourselves with that. Let's grab this, this. This. Grab the loose change and get out of here. Take these guys out. Oh, and there's more behind me. There's a lot more behind me. Holy shit. You know what? Let's just camp right here for a second while the zombies are all grouped up chasing me. There's our Sunder camo. Launcher master. And can we afford PhD? Yeah, let's just grab it right now. Why not? The sliding could help. I'm pretty sure we're already done with our jackrabbits. All right, eat shit, zombies. We're getting low on ammo. We should be able to jump down and pick some up here. Eh, not seen any. But they dropped us a decoy. That helps. Oh, there's some. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Mule Kick. Mule Kick always looking out. Honestly, let's make this a little interesting. Let's turn on the Rampage Inducer. Are we going to regret this? Because that Wonder Fizz is just so difficult to get to, like already. But now we're going to have a little faster zombies. I'm just sick of sitting here trying to train around for 10 minutes just to get like 14 kills. So if we can get these guys, you know, with a little pep in their step, it's going to be perfect for us. Hopefully. Knock on wood. I don't even have Quick Revive. Oh, shit. What'd they drop? Oh, Max Ammo. We'll take that. Take that all day. Oh, it's a mimic and a plague hound. What's next? What else you guys got for me? There we go. That's a good amount of kills. Oh, this mimic really wants up. Oh, there's two of them. Jeez, zombie, get off my dick. Oh, there's our growl camo. Oh, we need elite el eliminations. Okay, so this map should be perfect for this then. There's so many elites that spawn here. But this mimic just won't die. Little asshole. There's our bravado camo. Let's grab death perception. Get a little extra armor damage and go down. Shit. Oh, of course. And there's an abomination. Okay, so let's use our self-revive. This sucks. I don't... Oh, we do have enough salvage. We have 420 salvage, actually. Weed. But I need to go ahead and get a self-revive. Where's the closest crafting table? It might be up here, but I have to open a door for it. Okay, pop this open. It's right here. Got it. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. And the abomination! Holy shit! Oh my god, it almost just killed me. Oh, I don't have the stamina up! Oh, damn. Why did I make that jump? What a waste of that self-revive. Oh, no. Now I for sure don't have enough for a self-revive, so I need to get quick revive. I'm barely going to have enough money for that. Why did I take that jump? I was just assume after I get stamina up that I'm not going to take any fall damage ever again. But I know quick revive's right down here. Need a little revive. Get the fuck out of my way. And I'm dead. 
What? I didn't even finish drinking Quick Revive. It was in my hand and I died. Oh, that's awful. We fell apart so fast there. All right. I'll, I'll see you guys when we hop back into the next game. Actually, first, let's check our camos before we do that. This is actually the perfect opportunity. All right. Well, that sucks. Let's go ahead and check what we got done here. Okay. So we did get the enemies rapidly, which is not our jackrabbits. Okay. I was getting those confused. Need our little, we need our elite elimination still. We have rapidly. We have, there's two rapidly camos in this? There is. Okay. And then we still need three more jackrabbits. We weren't done with that. Okay. Good thing that we checked because I was sure that we were done but let's hop back in and try this again jeez i can't believe this <sighs> taking the walk of shame honestly this is kind of what i expect from the sigma i don't think i died the last time i did the sigma but you know we, we ran out of our, our luck here so let's just try to get three jackrabbit medals before we move on that way we can just kind of get phd and just spam <clears throat> yeah, i still haven't killed a single zombie and it's round four so i'm gonna climb up here and let's start knocking out these jackrabbits and this should be one right here Yep, and let's start working towards another. Let's move through these guys without getting hit, hopefully. There's downfall camo and glitch. And we're back up. Ooh, one drop to double points. I need that. Okay, let's loop around, trying not to get hit still so we can keep this jackrabbit. I found a stun, which is perfect because I can stun, get extra points that way, keep them all together, go for some kills that way. And I hurt myself. Cool. So we got to restart that jackrabbit. Okay, there's a lot of them now. Let's loop around. And I'm out of ammo. Perfect. Is that a max ammo? It is not. It's a double points. And I want those points. Or bonus points. Oh, now there's a max ammo right after I buy ammo. Perfect. Thank you, game. Helping me out a bunch. Okay, rockets are starting to become two hit. Which means we should probably get the hell out of here. We got another jackrabbit conviction camo. Okay, we're done. We are done with our jackrabbits. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tesla storm. I'm surrounded. Go ahead. Kill the zombies. I'll hit that nuke. Let's go ahead and hit the portal and get that started. There we go. Something else spawned back here. And it's an insta-kill. We're going to need that. Okay, we just need 10 more seconds to survive in here. There we go. There's our grudge camo. Ooh, just eviscerated those zombies. Let's get out of here. Oh, we actually don't have a whole... Oh, no. We do. Never mind. I was going to say we don't have a whole lot of money, but apparently we do. I'll grab Jug. I'm going to grab Quick Revive on my way this time. Pop this out. Uh, if I'm going to grab Quick Revive, I should probably go to the way that has Quick Revive. Grab the loose change. Pick it up. Open this. Head on in here. And let's start getting our parts. And we'll grab all the loose change from all the arcade machines. Or at least from two of them. Because there's a lot of zombies coming in now. And grab the part. We'll grab this loose change. There's one more loose change for us to grab. And it's the Drizendrak one. There we go. Oh, a lot of zombies coming here. Boop. Didn't kill a single one fantastic man this thing needs pack a punch now let's go to the tv store there's our broken tv bring it here we'll pop this open head on into the movie theater sir can i borrow your flashlight thank you open this and we need our fryer and then build the teleporter let me in please so many zombies holy shit all right heading on through oh gotta give the boys a kiss okay now we're all set open this up let's just go for a few kills why not there's a drench camo our knife now does more damage than rockets, so maybe during the Cold War era, rockets were actually big foam nerf rockets that did nothing. Let's spawn the Forsaken and buy some ammo. Come on out. Take out the rest of these zombies. Perfect, because now we have a Tesla Storm. Let's Tesla Storm on them. Get a few shots in. Actually, let's get as many knives in as we can. Is this the only thing that does damage to them? Come on. Uh-oh. These zombies are pissed. Take them out. Ooh. Oh, you can lock onto this guy? Does it do more damage if it locks on? I don't even know if you could use lock on in zombies. But now we gotta spend the next half hour trying to kill this guy. Honestly, is there a wall weapon? I'm just gonna use that. I'll lower him down and then get the final shot with uh, Sigma. Where's all your wall buys? Okay, let's upgrade the armor. Get hit real hard and run. Okay, out of ammo again. Oh, there's a wall buy 74U right here. I'm gonna grab that. I've actually never tried to like leave that area with the abomination behind me. But I need some ammo, so you're gonna have to follow me to the ammo crate, pal. Oh, it's right here. Get a little bit of damage in. Just a little bit. And I killed him. Damn it. Well, that sucks. That's uh, an elite elimination. We can't get back. And let's go ahead and lift the lock down. And I guess... Do we have enough for PhD? We do. So we can just try to farm kills until we have enough to get a uh, pack punch. I don't think I'm going to be turning on a Rampage Inducer just yet. Not until we're set up a little bit. So we got... We died so fast after turning that on. going to start shooting down at my feet. Oh, we need speed cola bad, actually. This reload time, taking forever. What'd you drop for me? Some bonus points? Thank you, guys. These rockets doing a half health thing? 
starting to annoy me. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade this thing at all. We need more damage. There we go. We just need a thousand more points. Then the party really gets started. All right, we have enough to get pack punch. So go do it. Perfect timing too. So I just ran out of ammo. There's pack punch. We already showed it off, so I won't do it again. This has to be one of the first times that we've died and had to restart. I, I'm pretty sure we've done it before, but I can't remember when. But now that we got pack punch on this bad boy, let's get all these zombies up. Everybody get on the decoy. A little skadoosh for you. Ooh, it looks nice when you aim down with it. You can see all the moving texture. And I'm going to grab death perception so we can get a little more scrap here. I want to be able to upgrade this thing. Never mind, I'm broke. Maybe next round. You know, I'll just stay up here and shoot. The things I do for Plague Diamond launchers. Okay, let's just start spamming rockets. We have a... Uh... Oh, never mind. Round ended. I was going to say let's spam them so we can grab this max ammo, but the round's already over. Okay, now we have enough for death perception, so let's grab that. And then now, I'm going to save up for speed coal and stamina. It's a very weird order of things that we're, we need to buy here. All I know is speed coal would help out so much. Oh, double points? That'll help us get speed coal a little faster. Oh, shit. There's already zombies here. Okay, throw another decoy. Actually, I probably just could have popped Tesla Storm, but there's speed cola. And we can take out the zombies once the decoy's done. I might as well just stick around here for a second so I can grab stamina up when I'm ready. Oh, you know what I didn't try last time? I never tried Ring of Fire with the RPG. I talked about it, but I didn't do it. So I want to try that today. I want to see how crazy that is. And the reason why I got reminded of that is because when you shoot this thing like four times in a row, the recoil just takes over or what recoil there would be. And since it doesn't like anticipate you having more than one rocket to shoot, the screen just starts tilting. So I'm going to use this Tesla Storm next round just because I don't want to waste a fully charged field upgrade. And then we're going to go ahead and switch to uh, Ring of Fire and get that done or see what that's like. Oh, I completely left the area after saying I was going to get stamina up, but... I'm gonna grab Shatter Blast and we'll just go to the Stamina Up machine. We just gotta go to the pizzeria. Top in over here. And there's Stamina Up. Can I upgrade anything? Nope. But I'll repair my armor. All right, back to the grind. Is this a decoy? Ooh, love to see that. Let's just throw it down right here. There's a chemical camo. So we're all done with our single shot kills. Pack a punch is still a little behind and I'm out of ammo. Cool. Oh, I don't have Mule Kick. Damn, I need so many perks. Oh, what is this? An insta kill? Love to see it. Oh, what's up, Abomination? Let's see what a pack a punch sugma does to you the ligma does nothing to this guy absolutely nothing this is awful what am i supposed to do here wait for an insta kill to spawn so i don't want to have a, a fully other pack a punched weapon just to deal with these guys here get tesla stormed i'll just shoot at you knife do more damage still i can't tell i'll just keep shooting right in your face i need mule kick i'm just gonna go to the arcade for it this abomination can chase me around all he wants he'll die eventually Hopefully. There we go. Got a little mule kick. I wish we would have done these during the Halloween event. Because then we could just have like a wonder weapon free, basically. From one of the pumpkins. And then we could use that to deal with the abomination. But no. They had to take our pumpkins away. I wish there was a way to toggle it on. Maybe even just like turn camos off and everything. And just, I don't know, just feel how that is again. Because that was so much fun. Like the first root challenge, getting any wonder weapon, basically. Getting pack-a-punch three from sitting in the first room. Like, that was a lot of fun. They need to bring that back in some capacity. Oh, and I forgot to change the Ring of Fire. Let me do that before I forget. You know that Tesla Storm helped out. Maybe Ring of Fire will do better. Because I'll get that bonus damage and be able to shoot like basically infinitely. What is that? A max ammo? I will take that. I just need a few more kills for a Ring of Fire. Oh, we have it already. And I'm concussed. Okay, Ring of Fire, go. Abomination, sleep. Okay, maybe Ring of Fire is the move. Especially with PhD with this thing. I don't even know where zombies are. I'm just shooting. There's our Funkadelic camo. Hey, Ring of Fire is kind of sick with this. Is the round gonna start or no? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, now it's taking two rockets to kill again. This thing falls off damage-wise so fast. Way before you can even ratio it. Oh, we have another ring of fire. Let's just use it. Okay. Honestly, this might speed up the process by so much. Like, look how much faster we can shoot without having to reload. Speed cola who? We do need pack two, like, very soon. And I need to check to see if I can upgrade my armor at all. Okay, we can. We can get armor two and three. And then we'll save the rest of our salvage to upgrade our sigma. Get out of here, crawler. All right, we have enough to get pack punch too. We might as well just go do it because I'm sick of trying to shoot two rockets to kill a zombie. All right, here is pack punch two on the Sigma here on Forsaken. Looking absolutely beautiful. It sucks that uh, the inspect on the Sigma isn't that great, but you do get to see like the, almost the full pattern of the camo here on this weapon, which is really nice. Well, let's head back in. All right, what's up, zombies? Oh, there we go. We're back to one shotting. And we have a ring of fire ready. Say less. Ring of fire actually fills up so fast. Especially when you're killing like multiple zombies in a hit. Oh no. A disciple. Oh, I can lock onto him. Get fucked. I'll hit you from here. 
Dickhead. Oh, and we got a scavenger camo from it. Let's go. Disciples aren't too bad to take out with uh, a little Sigma. Especially when we got anti-air. Get on the decoy. Make it easier for me. Oh, there's our bloodshed camo. That means we're only 500 normal kills away. Still need a lot of pack-a-punch camos, I'm sure. All right, we actually kind of got this down to a science at this point. Our, our first run through, that was, that was just a warm-up round. That was a charity game. Now we're playing for real. Unless I die. If I die, then it's not for real. I was just joking around. Are we missing any perk? I mean, we need dead shot maybe, but like headshots aren't that like are not important with this. Also, I doubt you can really get one like consistently, but that like bonus damage against the same opponent might be nice for when those abominations show up. So maybe we'll go get that. Couldn't hurt. Oh, speaking of abomination. What's up, danger? Maybe we'll go get that now. Just to help us deal with these elites. And Deadshot is down the other way at the bar. I just really don't like this um, map's Wonder Fizz. And I think it makes it kind of more entertaining. Not having that much access to the Wonder Fizz. So I like going to each of the individual machines if they're available. It seems more like intimate to the map. If that makes sense. I think we finally should have enough to upgrade this thing to blue. Yep, there we go. Okay, zombies, get the fuck back. So glad I have an RPG that I can just shoot at the ground. I'm only like one kill off of a ring of fire. So if you get that before this abomination decides to get his greasy paws up here, that'd be cool. Honestly, I'm going to hit the nuke just to do a little extra damage to him. And how much are rockets doing now? Not that much. Oh, actually, that one did pretty good, but that was a shatter blast. Oh, and he's gone. Let's go. Get fucked, idiot. Get out of here, Disciple. I love that lock-on. That's satisfying as fuck. Oh my god. I hate the Disciples so much. I think they're probably the most annoying mob in this game. Although their design is really cool. But being able to lock onto them and just drill them with the rocket is so satisfying. They just fly around so erratically trying to get away from you. Power up all the other zombies. You know, not be at crit level to make it, you know, more difficult to get camos. And now you can just pop them with a quick rocket. Like, like suck cock. Get the fuck out of here. Watch this. Oh, wait. No, the crawler's dead. Never mind. Wa watch me troll this crawler. Oh, no. I'm down here. Come on, little guy. Idiot. Hey, guess what? I'm up here. Are you going to get up here? Huh? Are you going to jump up? Dumbass. Guess what? I'm down here again. Oh, come on down. Psych. I'm back up. Jeez. Played. Anything else I can upgrade? Oh, we get our weapon to purple. And we got to save up for gold. I guess at this point, we're just saving up for uh, pack three too. Or pack three as well. Okay, let's just ring a fire. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it, dude. Right, how many kills are we at? 870. We should be getting pretty close on our normal kills. I wish there was a pack a punch kills thing on the, on the scoreboard. Or at least some way I could check it. Just let me check camos in game. Come on. That's all we want. I don't know why I didn't use ring of fire with the RPG. I talked about it and just didn't do it. Now I regret it. This would have been so much easier. I just assume I'm going to need Tesla Storm in a tight spot or something. But if I have PhD, I can just shoot at the ground and it's easy. We have double points, so everybody get on there. We have the Marksman badge for the Sigma. Crazy that that's even a thing. Oh, and we leveled it up. I think it's max level now. Oh, that's what the Marksman badge means. I'm stupid. We got Launcher Master again. We're Double Master. Ooh, we have a Mangler now. Guess what? We can <laughs> lock on to him too. We really need more elite eliminations, so please keep spawning them in. And I've always shitted on this spot as a camel grinding spot, but it works well for the Sigma. I just think normal weapons, it, it's not as great because they're not all coming from one area to be able to get all those headshots like you could on the truck. And you're at a completely different level as them too. Like you, you're aiming down at them. I don't know, like it could work, but it's definitely not as efficient as like Firebase or D-Machine. Even Mauer is more efficient, I think. Oh, we definitely have enough to get pack three. I'm getting that right now. All right, let's grab it. This is what pack punch three looks like on the Sigma. This is beautiful. I've always said that it just looks like a tropical glitch camo, and it really does. It's awesome. And you can really see the effect of the secondary camo there, that like blood looking almost. It's like orange blood. Looks really cool. Got some really nice pack punch camos on this map. Oh, do I hear a little disciple, buddy? Sleep. Any more elites? Oh, there's an abomination, actually. Oh, and I hear another Disciple. Guess what? He's going to be dead too in a second. Gone. Okay, Ring of Fire time. There's our Rising Tiger camo. We're getting more Elites dead. Let's take out this Abomination while we still have a Ring of Fire. I don't know why my Ring of Fire is not blocking his projectile. But it should have. Did I kill him actually? Is he dead? Is the Abomination sleep? Ring of Fire is OP. Maybe I should just run around a little bit and get these Mimics to spawn. Because I see the items drop in. But they won't get up unless I go near them. So there we go. There's one. I think that's the only Mimic spawn. And well, all the zombies can wait on the decoy for Mama Mimic to show up. There we go. Is he sleep? No, dang. The mimic tanks damage. Oh, there's our rotten camo. We're all done with our normal kills. And I think our Ring of Fire might have killed the Mimic. So we just completely wasted our time. But we're all done with normal kills. Pack a punch probably not too far behind. But we did have to restart. So maybe a little further than it would have been. Oh, Mangler. What's up, dude? And a Mimic? Manglers are the biggest bitches. They look so big and tough and they have a gun on them and everything. They're probably one of the easiest elites to kill. 
not only did he just get one shot by the sigma but with like any other gun just shooting it at his gun and blowing it up pretty easy kill there damn it's really raining hard here oh another disciple oh you're lucky you're lucky I'm, i can't lock onto you from you hiding over there here let's get him now i can see him perfectly slapped him one shotted Nice try, Bozo. I can't believe we're going 30 rounds with this thing. Well, almost 30. Come on, where are my Pack-a-Punch camos? I'd be so pissed if I get all done with my Pack-a-Punch camos and I'm forgetting something. But we just checked and I felt like I was doing pretty well on everything. We got our Jackrabbits out of the way pretty early. We're already done with our normal kills. Our one-shot kills, I'm pretty sure, are done. Maybe it's just elite kills. So we need more elites to spawn in. Oh, there's an elite. That counts. Come on, Abomination. Jump up here. I dare you. Sleep. Oh my god, Ring of Fire just tears this thing up. You get so much extra damage from Ring of Fire, it's ridiculous. I need a little more ammo. And okay, now we've made it to round 30. There are 1,405 eliminations, so I'm, I think we're probably like, what? 200, maybe 300 kills on our Pack-a-Punch behind than we are uh, from our normal kills. We should be getting it pretty soon. This is honestly not a bad strat. I wonder what would happen if you had four people with only launchers, how high of a round we could get. I guess it just takes until somebody loses PhD. Let's grab this max ammo before it goes away. Oh, there's launcher diamond, baby. We got plague diamond. Let's go. And we might as well just start working towards exfil. We're doing it at the perfect round. We got four zombies left. We're grabbing our manic camo to finish it off. Let's get out of here. What a perfect time. Right as we're getting max ammo too, everything just fell into place. Go ahead and spawn in zombies. I'll be waiting for you at the exfil radio but we only have one more class left now just the two tack rifles sleep any other zombies want to get fucked up oh you do gone next and one more sleep hit that exfil world's fastest all right let's make our way up we'll take this teleporter and up this little zip line right into the portal home all right where's the abomination i know you're gonna spawn in here let's just throw down a few decoys rile them up Oh, we have a ring of fire. You know what? Let's just go back to the spot we've been using. Make it nice and easy for ourselves. Okay, pop the ring of fire. There's only three zombies left. Where are they at? Oh, abominations hiding. Yeah, be invisible. And be dead. We have two left. Where are they? Where are the two last zombies? Okay, there's one. Last guy is where? Just now spawning in? You can't be doing that. You need to go. Oh my god, I can't kill him. Oh, now he's dead. Never mind. I lied. Let's get out of here. Let me in, Raptor 1. All right, let's check our final stats on our second game. It took us 1,500 kills, five crits. Let's go. We got five crits. No revives, no downs. Our first game, we had three downs and significantly less kills. So we kind of figured it out there in our second game. All right, let's take a look at what the Sigma looks like with these Master Camos on it. Here's Gold Viper. Not really that big of a difference. Kind of just looks default. Can't really see it too much from the Gunsmith, but we'll check it out in game. And then here is Plague Diamond. Plague Diamond always looking great. We are one class away from Dark Aether. Dark Aether has no coverage on this thing for some reason, but that's all right. Let's go ahead, hop in game and see what the Sigma looks like with Plague Diamond and Gold Viper. All right, this is what the Sigma looks like with Gold Viper on it. Actually, very nice in game. The whole barrel of it's gold, or at least the whole barrel of it that we can see. Looks very nice. Really catches the lighting well. And the secondary part of it actually looks pretty good. Sometimes they mess it up and it doesn't get that matte black everywhere. And it just looks like somebody put it on like a, a phone case or like a, a skin on their Xbox and they didn't put it on right. But that is Gold Viper on it. Now let's check out what Plague Diamond looks like on it. All right, this is Plague Diamond and you already know it's going to look beautiful. The whole thing taken up by that purple metal with the diamonds on the back honestly it looks really good like this the gunsmith really does not do a lot of these weapons justice and then when it's in your hands you're like damn that looks nice let's do a quick little inspect and spin to get all the lighting angles on it beautiful very nice looking weapon but there you have it our launchers are done we only have one class left which is the tack rifles so if you want to leave a suggestion please only leave either the car the dmr or what's that last one the aug the aug so car dmr aug those are the only suggestions we're taking at this point after that we'll go through and do all of our dlc weapons but with that i'm gonna have to end the video here so if you guys like that and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later